Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Wildcard Wednesday Rising Stars, some Season 2 news, which sounds very weird to say Season 2, right? I feel like it's borderline Christmas, and we're talking about Season 2. You know, most games are already, like, in Season 3 by now. Are going on season three or at least midway through season two we are just starting we're just getting into it but so season two news we have a few other things to mention that i do want to talk about as well as guys if you're new to the channel that subscribe button turn the notification bell gives you a big thumbs up in this uh down below in the chat as well comment down below in the chat what you guys think is the best rising star today and of course which free one you do plan to pick now guys if you're new to the channel um gonna just cover something real quickly if you guys need any coins down down below I always have my code and my link down below for you guys to get some pretty easy and cheap coins as well as you guys want to check out underdog fantasy super cool daily fantasy app i will have a link and a code for you guys to go ahead and pretty much get a free hundred bucks to go ahead and play with which if you guys do one dollar lines which can win you up to 20 bucks per one which is 20 times your money you can do about 100 total lines for the year using that which would cover you for the rest of the year on some free money but that's just quick little quick little thing i want to say there now let's get into the video one of the first rising stars with AJ Dillon power back. Now remember, Dillon's like 200 and like 40 something pounds, so that's always going to be interesting as a player with the next gen uh, system. 92 speed, 91 excel, 81 agility, 90 carrying, 67 catching, 82 change of direction, 92 truck, 92 break tackle. Now here's the thing: he's ba he's pretty much baby Derrick Henry in terms of change of low change of direction, good truck. Like the way the cards built, very similar. This back is not that usable in my opinion, just because of the fact that. If you're looking at meta backs, it won't be there. But if you have a Packers theme team, pretty insane. If you want a fullback, pretty good fullback. And if you just want to have a backup running back that you put on goal line, he'll be great at that. He has that weight, so just fall forward consistently. Next, we have Antoine Winfield Jr. That is the guy who gave the peace sign up to um, Tyreek in the Super Bowl. I don't think he's been as good this year. And that's probably, I don't know if that's his fault. That secondary really fell apart. And if you guys know about anything about football, when the corners are trash and, the, you know, like, and then the secondary is not playing well, it's really hard for a safety to be too great because if the corners are getting beat all day, the safeties just have a horrible day over the top. They, they can't just focus on playing their game. They got to worry about literally everything. But still, I, I mean, it could be playing well. I just haven't really kept up. I just know that the, the Buccaneers secondary has been absolutely decimated. 93 speed, 92 excel, 87 tackle, 88 play rec, 90 pursuit, 90 man, 93 zone, 91 pro, uh, hit power. This is a really good card. That's a 94 speed safety powered up with all above 90 man zone and hit power. He's going to lay the boom, zone man, and have that speed. And of course, I think his height's pretty decent. I think he might be like six foot six foot one. I don't think he's like a, I don't think he's a midget at all. But um, I think he's one of the taller. See, I'm taller, but I think he's above average or at least average. This is good. I like this card a lot. And for a free option, a 94 speed safety as one of the free options. Just pretty good to me. I don't, I don't really mind. Uh, Quiddy Pay, 92 speed right end. 91 speed, 92 excel. Starting off great. 90 strength. 86 tackle, 87 player, 86 block shed, 90 power move. 72 finesse move. Guys, if this card had gotten an 89 block shed, literally just like three or two, even two more, because I could have I could made it work with track cards, he would have been pretty elite for a free player. 92 speed, 90 for, uh, power move, and 90 blocks would have been really good. This card's not that great anymore. Without the block shed, he just becomes a decent pass rusher, which a lot of guys since the beginning of the year were able to get 90 hip, uh, power move anyways. The key is really to get that block shed and power move combo, or block shed and finesse move combo. The card's still decent. I mean, it's not the end of the world on a cold steam team. He could be pretty fast, actually, because it's like a 94, 95 speed. But I think I prefer him off my teams. I really like the Antoine Winfield. This really doesn't compare so far. He's far and away the best one. Uh, next, we have A.J. Terrell Jr., 92 overall cornerback for the Falcons. 93 speed. Again, pretty good. 93 excel, 80, 90 agility, 86 jumping, 88 play rec, 92 man, 90 zone, 87 press. Now, I don't like that his press and play rec are below 90, but power it up with the right track card and get that play rec up one more. So I would say, overall, pretty good card. I still don't think they compare it to Woodfield Jr. I just think that's still the best one by a far, like a decent amount. Because, like, Coverage wise, he's the only guy. He's like, let's say, you know, every every player has a threshold, right? For and you're looking at power, power move, finesse move, and block shed. For cornerbacks looking at zone, press, man, right? Winfield gets all, which is always power, zone, man coverage. He gets all three above 90, plus gets great speed, right? I just don't think people really compare here. AJ Terrell will get the man in zone and the speed. I mean, he's still really good, don't get me wrong. But the press and play rec will make him feel a little less dominant than other cornerbacks, and that's something you have to look at because they're free. Next, guys. 
Take your team to the skies of rising stars. I will show you guys the other rising star in a second. Um, these challenges are no longer going to be available on 12.15 uh, at 10 a.m. So you have a week from today as per usual. Stars earned in this release will carry over. Remember, if you guys do play, you do get your free player every few weeks. So I believe it is that week, week 16, tier 16. You get a week 13 through 16 end cat fantasy pack, which I will go over in just a second here. So here we go. Week 15 to 16. So we have the flashbacks. We have Verrett, Janoris, Kendrick, Trubisky, Phil Lindsay. Now I'm going to go through all the ones that are kind of potentially possible in this one here. So here's the thing. You got, in the first column, I would say Jason Verrett and Janoris Jenkins are probably the only two I'd even, not even consider. I would just say from that group that it would be even decent. They're decent cornerbacks. From the heavyweights, just Trent Williams. The rest are not really usable. Trent Williams is a good left tackle. From the veterans, they kind of were all trash. The veterans, I wouldn't touch them. Now, when it comes to the rising stars, they were all really good. Now, Justin Jefferson, big name, not the greatest card, but I would say, I would say if I had to pick, right, I would do any of the rising stars besides maybe AJ Dillon and Quiddy Pay. So, overall, I think it's Winfield Jr., Terrell, Justin Jefferson, Trent Williams, Jason Verrett. Those would be my options. Now, I think it's pretty obvious that you want to go with Antoine Winfield Jr. here. In my opinion, I think he's really, really good. Uh, but, again, you can go a few different routes with this one. And, I, in my opinion, I, I think Antoine Winfield's my pick, right? But there's still Justin Jefferson, AJ Terrell. We still got Trent Williams and Verrett. It comes out to your team, like, right? Do you need a, you need a left tackle? Do you need a lineman? Do you, need, even, do you even need a safety? Would you rather a depth position, like, wide receiver, where you can you know, have up to four? Safety's borderline depth corner and cornerback safety and wide receiver all depth. Left well, tackle is not the only one that isn't depth. So I think those are all great picks nonetheless. But moving forward, guys, we have this to talk about as well. Um, Tony Baselli, left tackle for the Jaguars. Now he's going to be one of these season two master cards that you just like get for playing and leveling up. Now, people thought like, oh, left tackle, great. Like, who, who do we care? Tony Baselli gets every secondary position. He gets left tackle, right guard, right tackle, left guard, center. Which is awesome news because a lot of people might say, okay, well, cool, left tackle. My left tackle is not. Okay, that's it. I don't really don't want to level up for him, right? Now, you can literally take him and move him across your entire line for the rest of the year, honestly. I mean, like, a 96, a 96 left tackle, hopefully with a power-up that can also get strat carded up and stuff, can probably end up with a 97, 98 overall. He can literally be on your lines until, like, 99 overall gold cards, right? So that means that you can uh, you put my left tackle, you get a team of the year left tackle, move him to left guard. You get a free left guard, move him to center. You could literally move him across the entire line with no penalty. You know, you could semi still work. I really like this card now. I think that instantly makes season two more of a dub than it already was. And then guys here, they also can get all team cams. So like, it's just, he could fit any theme team, move across the line. This is like, this is like Leon Sandcastle back in the day when he could play any position. You just put, put him wherever you want to play him. He could play anywhere in the line. I really do like this card a lot. I think this was an awesome addition. I'm happy they added this because if it was just a left tackle for the Jaguars, wouldn't have been nearly as cool. Look, because all you had to do is get a left tackle. It's like, okay, don't need him. But this is great. I love this. You can put him anywhere. And if you want, and also what's good about this too is let's say you buy a 98 overall center, right? But then you want to sell him because he's too expensive or he's an LTD. Put Tony Gaselli back at center. And you can bring in your backup other like you can just if you have let's say you have two left tackles, because one was not 92 overall, you can move Baselli back to center, take that spot, and then move your 92 back into the lineup. So you can really play around with the line this way. I really like that. But guys, it's better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn this noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.